Traditional optical motion capture methods use an outside in arrangement of cameras placed around an actor with viewpoints converging in the center. Their recording volume is restricted to the overlap between camera views, which severely limits the range of motions that can be captured. Instead, we propose an approach for egocentric markerless motion capture using two head mounted cameras with fisheye optics. Here we show two system prototypes mounted on a bike helmet and an Oculus virtual reality headset. Fisheye optics capture a large field of view, even when mounted close to the body. This enables the reconstruction of full body skeletal motion from just two cameras. Now we explain the components of our motion capture approach. Here we see the input stereo view to our method. As one source of information, we use body part locations found with a novel confinet based detector. It is trained on an extensive new dataset of real annotated fisheye images which we created. We show some training examples later in this video. The maxima of the detections help constrain joint positions during pose optimization. We integrate the detections into a generative pose optimization using a volumetric body model and a new ray casting based image formation model. See the paper for details. This view shows the estimated skeleton overlaid on the input fisheye views. Whenever we overlay skeletons in fisheye views, we darken the input video for better visibility. Here we show an outside in view for reference. Note that the checkerboard mounted on the camera rig is never used during reconstruction. Our ego cap approach enables motion capture of the person in the center who is occluded by many bystanders. Traditional outside in motion capture from external cameras, as shown here, would be close to impossible. In contrast, with ego cap, we can successfully track the entire skeleton motion. The skeleton is stabilized on the spine for visualization purposes. Note that the global position is not tracked in this example. Our EgoCap approach also enables capture of large-scale motions outdoors, such as this walking motion, or even cycling freely. In this example, the global camera pose is reconstructed with structure from motion. Capturing cycling motions would be extremely difficult with outside-in motion capture approaches due to the constrained recording volume. This is a virtual reality scenario, in which the global pose of the user is tracked with structure from motion. Here we show the user skeleton in a virtual environment in which he interacts with a virtual object. Here the user sits down in a real sofa and a virtual sofa in VR. This is how the user could perceive the virtual rendering through a VR headset. Here we see the live application of our lightweight EgoRig 2. This showcases the utility of our motion capture approach to virtual reality applications, where the person wearing the headset could see a motion capture version of themselves while interacting with the virtual world. We evaluate the quantitative accuracy with respect to ground truth obtained by a markerless multi-view motion capture system. We achieve good accuracy with an average joint position error of less than 10 cm. The checkerboard is used as reference to map between the fish eye and multi-view camera coordinates. Some slight jittering is caused by inaccurate checkerboard detection. Here we show another outdoor sequence playing basketball with frequent self-occlusions that our approach handles well. Very strong occlusion due to the ball throws our tracker off, but it recovers as soon as the ball leaves the field of view. Large occlusions by the environment, such as this table, can also confuse our tracker due to the missing pose evidence. Without body part detections, our tracker may lose limbs, such as the left hand in this video. And without our color based term, erroneous body part detections may result in incorrect poses, for example for the legs. By using all terms in our energy, we combine the benefits and overcome the limitations. Additional smoothing of the joint angles, as also applied in standard motion capture editing software, can further improve the perceived quality of our results.
We create a large training data set for our body part detector by capturing actors in a state-of-the-art multi-view markerless motion capture system in a green screen studio. This allows us to replace backgrounds to augment the dataset and provides ground truth joint location annotations from the motion capture system. In addition, we apply intrinsic recoloring and gamma jittering to make our detector more robust to different clothing and lighting conditions. Thank you for watching.